So that's the end of this week's episode of Drone News. Thanks for watching. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button and we'll see you next time. Ian, what are you doing? We're flipping the script. We're going backwards. We're going to talk about the DJI Flip. The latest DJI drone has just been leaked and this time it folds in half. Earlier this week, both Jasper Ellens and Quadro News, aka the godfathers of DJI leaks, posted images and a couple videos of what appears to be yet another imminent DJI leaked drone. The photos reveal what looks to be an early concept of a drone that closely resembles the DJI Mio, but with a major twist, this one folds. Right off the bat, it looks like this drone is packing probably the same camera that looks to be found in the Mini 4 Pro. If that's the case, it'll likely offer a serious upgraded image quality, especially compared to the Neo. In the leaks, we can also see that there's a bar across the top, which is probably used for obstacle avoidance and possibly even LiDAR like we saw in the Air 3S. We won't know for sure until we actually see it. There's also a battery button that resembles the Neo. If you haven't seen our video on the DJI Neo, check it out. We've also got a full review that eventually will actually come out once I finish filming it. There actually have been parts leaked that make this a pretty real possibility. It's not just something that's way out prototype. Usually there's FCC leaks or something else to back it up. We've seen other companies try and experiment with devices that fold before, such as the Hover Air X1. And giving DJI's history, this really wouldn't come as a surprise. They want to be in that market. The legs fold, so why not just make the entire drone fold? While it's fun to get excited about this new stuff, they are just leaks. We're getting a folding drone before GTA 6? Hey, come on, it's Christmas. If this product does actually come to fruition, we'll likely see major improvements in the design and materials. And by the looks of it, DJI is in the very early stages of production and testing of this guy. The question is, will this thing actually see the market or not? So what do you think? Let us know in the comments below. That's enough about Neos and folding drones. Let's get rid of this. Ow! Everyone can sleep at night knowing that the streets are a little safer after police used a drone to catch a reckless teenage driver doing donuts in a New Jersey neighborhood. A couple weeks ago, police of the Tracy Township of New Jersey received reports of a driver doing donuts at the intersection of a crossroad of the Greystone Drive. Who names a road crossroad? Come on. When police arrived on site, the driver had fled the scene, of course. However, with the help of their drone, they were able to quickly locate him when he came back to the same intersection for more donuts? This is just another example of how drones can be used for law enforcement and for general first responders. They can be used for both police activity and for saving a life. They allow for quick access to information from above and can quickly send crews info into the desired location for a swift response. Today's episode is brought to you by Coastal Drone Co. That's us. That's us, your trusted resource for drone training and certification. You're running out of time. Our Black Friday sale ends tonight, Friday, December 6th at midnight of Saturday the next day, but you'll figure it out. If you're eyeing a new drone for this holiday season, now's the perfect time to level up your skills. Our discounted courses will help you master your new gear and take your flying to the next level. Why am I still holding this? Use the code BFCM24 at checkout for 25% off of all of our courses. Act fast, seriously, because you won't want to miss out on this deal. Again, this is the deepest discount we do for the entire year. Get on over to coastaldrone.co right now. Hey, hold up past Ian. This is the ghost of Christmas present Ian. Last night, the FCC filing for two new products from DJI was revealed. So in addition to the flip, it looks like we might be only weeks away from seeing two additional products from DJI, the L3A and the L3B variant. Why do we, and well, most of the internet this morning think this is probably the Mavic 4 Pro? The specifications say that these drones are gonna come with a 6,664 milliamp hour battery or 95.3 watt hour at 14.3 volts. That's a 4S pack with a pretty big capacity. Actually, it's bigger than the Mavic 3, which had a 90.4 watt hour battery or 5,800 milliamp hours. Now, typically the FCC filings are a sign that the drone is only weeks away from release. Could DJI have decided to launch early because of the impending government changes? Or do you think that a Christmas 2024 release was a plan all along? This is a developing story and I've got a Christmas party to get to, so stay tuned for a full breakdown on the DJI Mavic Mavic series next week and a roundup of specs, rumors, and our thoughts so far on what might be the Mavic 4 Pro. I bought the Mavic 3 on launch day in 2021 and it wasn't all sunshine and roses. If you weren't around back then, DJI basically pulled a flight simulator 2024 with a pretty buggy release. Stay tuned to the channel. I'll have a full piece out for you next week about the Mavic 4 Pro and the entire history of the DJI Mavic series. We'll see ya. 
The FAA has just placed a temporary flight restriction for all drones over the Trump golf course following recent sightings of unexplained drones in the area. Residents of various New Jersey counties have been witnessing bizarre drone activity right around their homes. Witnesses described these drones as triangular in shape with red and green flashing lights and a sound similar to that of an airplane. What does that sound like, Tiffin? Sounds like an airplane. While the nature of these drones is unknown at this point, residents are concerned. Not only do they question their safety, one resident described it as being the size of a car. That's a bit concerning, especially when it's flying right above your house. Could this be aliens? Probably not, but the FBI is taking this quite seriously and has launched an investigation into these sightings due to their proximity to the golf course and other military facilities. Morris County Sheriff James Gannon confirmed that there is no threat to the public at this time, but local authorities are taking these sightings quite seriously. The Chinese version of the 2025 DJI Agris T100, a new agriculture drone, has been officially released in China. The T100 is designed for agriculture spraying, offering those working in agriculture a safer and more efficient way of spraying and monitoring their crops. The drone comes with a fully upgraded safety system with a new laser radar that's paired with an active phased array radar allowing pilots to fly smoother and conduct automated missions with peace of mind. With the help of AI, the drone is able to quickly locate and identify obstacles, allowing them to be saved onto the map. And that's a nice feature to have. So when you're flying a drone of this size, you have a little bit more to worry about than when you're flying a Neo. One of the biggest upgrades we see over the T-50 is now it's increased to a 75 kilogram spraying payload. It looks like it's also gonna be compatible with the new RC Plus 2 that we talked about last week, which offers support for DJI's O4 transmission system for better video link quality and longer control range. This big old girl is also equipped with a quick swap system allowing the spray nozzles to be swapped out to a spreading head for increased efficiency on the field. Can't put system in this sentence four times. We've done a whole podcast that dives into the details of agriculture spraying. If you wanna learn more about that, check it out up here. That's it for this week. Be sure to catch our podcast this Sunday at 10 a.m. Pacific, where we talk with Matt Matthews from Blackhawk Aeronautical Solutions about using drones for live video production. In the meantime, check out last week's episode on drone light shows, where Dan and Travis light up the night to create spectacular drone shows. And recently they did Canada's largest drone show of a thousand drones in Vancouver, British Columbia. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell, and we'll see you next week. All right, so that's enough about Neos and folding Joel, let's get rid of this thing. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> actually hit him in the face. <laughs> it actually hit me square. I'm really sorry. Like Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> You're very red. Oh, wait. It hit me like right there. <laughs>